Welcome to the video tutorial for the Quantitative Metabolomics Database, the QMDB. This guide will introduce you to the QMDB, help you understand how you can benefit from using the database, show you how to get started, and explain its features and how to derive meaningful results. The Quantitative Metabolomics Database, QMDB, provides plasma concentration ranges for metabolites covered by Biocrates profiling kits. The QMDB is a collection of metabolite concentration ranges from healthy human individuals whose EDTA plasma samples were measured using the MXPQUAN 500 or the Absolute IDQ P180 assays. You can view the typical concentration range for any kit metabolite. Concentrations of individual samples are not provided. You can customize your reference ranges with a specified subset of the healthy population and you can export key statistical figures that enable drawing box plots and displaying concentration distributions, or performing comparative statistics and discovering significant concentration differences. The QMDB provides more specified control ranges for key metabolites. The data was collected from more than 1,000 healthy human subjects of different age categories originating from several controlled epidemiological studies in collaboration with several universities and scientific research institutes. The QMDB is supported by Biocrates Life Sciences. The number of samples in the database is growing as new data is added regularly. We are aiming for a continuous optimization of the user experience by adding new features. We also provide an Excel template to facilitate data visualization and statistical analysis. The QMDB is a great research tool for scientists applying Biocrates technology as it helps defining normal ranges. The QMDB supports scientific research. You can confirm that your control group is representative of the normal healthy population or you can back up studies with small control groups or without healthy controls. For example, you can investigate which treatment brings the metabolism back to normal condition. In intervention or nutrition studies, you can identify and exclude outliers or participants that did not follow the study protocol. The QMDB also supports study design. You can use smaller control groups with a pre-established normal range. You can use the concentration ranges for in silico studies, comparing different subgroups within the healthy population. Or you can apply the exported values in data science, for example, using pattern recognition algorithms to identify novel metabolite signatures behind donor attributes. Let me show you how easy it is to get started with the QMDB. Once you have logged in via MyBiocrates, you find the menu bar right there. The first thing you have to do is select your matrix of interest from the Select Your Matrix menu. Currently, only EDTA plasma samples are available in the QMDB. To get the reference ranges, all you have to do is click on Calculate Reference Ranges, and the table will be calculated within seconds. The table lists all MXP Quant 500 metabolites, sorted by class and short name. It also contains the mean and median concentration values, the lowest and highest values, quartiles as measures of dispersion, standard deviation, percentage of samples above the limit of detection, typical limit of detection, and number of samples these values were calculated from. You can download the table by opening the export menu, selecting your preferred file type and clicking on the export button. If you want to customize your sample selection, you can do so with the filter options. Say you're looking for the typical ranges in healthy postmenopausal women. Activate the filter for sex and select female and activate the filter for age and select an appropriate range to restrict the reference range calculation to samples fulfilling these criteria. Other filter options include restriction by BMI, fasting status, ethnicity or lifestyle. 
you can also restrict the assay the samples were measured with or consider all samples uploaded before a certain date only. This feature serves as our version control. Customers who contributed to our database have the option to restrict the calculation basis to samples provided by their own organization. The display options enable displaying only certain classes or metabolites of interest. You can also toggle whether identifiers from the human metabolome database should be displayed or not. The settings menu enables saving the selections you made for later. Click here to open the demographics submenu. When the Show Demographics Table button is clicked, a table with demographics information for your current selection is calculated and displayed. This can also be exported. If you have further questions, click the Information button to get to our user manual. Be sure to check out our extensive FAQ section. If you still have questions, feel free to send an email to our support team. Now that you have seen how easy it is to work with the QMDB, go and explore it yourself. Thank you for watching the QMDB video tutorial.